yeah. Secret Society thinking with the Golden Dawn Magical Tarot of Sandra, Tabatha, and Chick Cicero. From the 10th of the second month of 1444, Invocation from Behind. 16 are half risen with 80s Sedona energy. The method is a direction from personal to universal reality. We are consecrating and training along our journey, aiding our scrying with the beings we attract. As we build the pyramid of images, deflecting by not confining it to mere imagination or mere act. From the dying, we are initiated into life through our bloody sacrifices as sages. And the box is this. I don't have the book with me, but when this series is done, I will reunite the book and the box. All right. I think there's a bigger book to this, I, just yeah. like there's a bigger book to the the Fairy Tarot series that we went over. But what are your thoughts of this invocation for the bats? And Well, um, when you were reading just now, I um, I wrote down that questions to ask self um, a secret. What is a secret? Uh, is it the unknown? But who, who holds that knowledge and why? Question everything twice. Also, what is reality? And what are you building? <laughs> No, not, not you, but, you know, each, each person. So, yeah, that's what the, the thoughts I had. When, uh, so personal to universal reality. Well, some things are for the individual, but it's not that, you know, oh, it's your personal reality. It's not other people. It's their reality, too, but it's not relevant to them. Right, right. Uh, or or, or that, that sort of thing. Um because mm -hmm. there is differences of perception via the angle you're looking at or the individual you're looking through, but it's still, you know, the still the same universal reality. And there's uni universal truths that, per se, some people would need to yeah. turn to universally, like like the idea. Um, it's like there are things that people are good at, but it doesn't mean that that they need to just leave doing everything else and just do those things because uh, it's uh, right. it's it's like oh oh i have to give a, a, you know anything that would be an obligation to me as a human or something i just need to step out on that because it's just not what i feel is my personal calling and it's like no no it doesn't work that way and the people who do get to live out their their calling per se in that way they they would still do those things mm -hmm. um because that's what people think. It's, it's like instead of this stuff that you do every day and every so many hours and all this other stuff, why not do stuff that you're shine? So, it's like I do. I do do those things. I do uh, do things that I think that particularly I would have to offer. But that doesn't mean I give up on what other people might offer, that sort of thing. That's Yeah, right on. That, that and there's there's got to be like some stuff. It's It's like so many people have to do things just for something to get done to make it through for one in some things and other things Working. it's like everybody who does something matters it's like oh i i shouldn't give to charity because i can't give much and i can't give the whole thing or i can't afford this but I, 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 other people could work together in the project and you know things right. could be done as, as a group or something but the thing of course to be careful with that is as we've mm. we've seen from elsewhere um okay how many things would this sun have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
So this would have 14, right? If this was the full sun, it would have 14. Didn't you say that was what your spread had? Yeah. Yeah. I made a, um, I, I call it a life circle. And I start here. And it, this was, it was representing, well, this spread was representing like young adult years. And I show a lot of, well, you can see a lot of struggle, uh, the cards that for me, I felt like uh, represented a lot of struggle. And then there at the ending of the, well, not the ending, but uh, near the completion of it, it shows, you know, building up, um, you know, a little bit of uh, celebration to get through all that through all that struggle and uh, I mean there's still struggle but uh, it's a process to work through constantly <laughs> sometimes you have to reprocess things uh, I mean, but see you, you see me. these eight here and that can <laughs> combine uh, you know you can kind of think of the whole thing as 16 or something but uh 14 is actually what it's going to more come to and I had this vision once that I was, I was like the cross, but it was the cross. It was, it was, you know, that cross, not, not, the, not the lowercase one. And my clothes were the pyramid of white. My Enochian vision of low E, I'm not sure if it's on the channel, but it was one of the particularly big Enochian Ather experiences that I had. Um, a lot of people think you have to stick with it and stick with it and stick with it until you have the one. I don't know. You can go with whatever part of the system, and they'll come. They'll they'll come in full detail in whatever order they're supposed mm -hmm. to be. But I mean, this is tarot as a whole, so it's not totally about Enochian. And I'm not sure if there's anything we can directly tie to Enochian here. Um, and so, what what car the the aces? Let's start with the aces. From the dying, we are initiated into life through our bloody sacrifices as sages. Okay. So the sun sets, reflecting by not confining it, so that goes outside of that, to mere imagination or mere act, aiding our scrying with the beings we attract as we build the pyramid of images. The method is a direction from the personal to the universal reality. So even outside the image, the black here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even like the most You're concentrating simple... and training along our journey. Okay. I just thought I'd re. Yeah. You... Even in even in a card that looks simple, you can see a lot of meaning in it. Well, that's the, that's the thing. <laughs> um, this that. is a seventy nine card deck, but that that part doesn't matter so much. The thing is, is that we have a um, what's the word? It represents everything, and that's the tick. You're supposed to represent everything, just like for example, I I I, I told you I'm. I'm I, I, int I intend to give you those seven pieces of Enochian furniture, and you end up in three distinct way at three uh, three or four distinct ways representing the universe. Um, in the five parts, which are really four parts, but the um, those Enochian square uh, squares each represent everything Earth, everything you know. The the trumps would be the black cross. Mm -hmm. Um, although people do list the trumps along the table itself, um, so it depends on how you look at it, right? So fire, air, earth, and water, whichever order you put those in, it's, everything's physical, the spiritual beings behind the physical, whether you're a clay being or whether the fire beings or the light beings, ultimate divinity, you find the names referring to ultimate divinity representing, you know, the whole of that um 
And then when you go to the Bonorum, people think, oh, it's just the good angels. Well, in a way, yes. But then again, you have the you have the you have the various other beings that aren't the light beings that are associated with this tablet as well. And it um, and when you connect it to the great table, the great table, you have that symbol of the macrocosm, but it's surrounded by the spiritual forces. But within it, you have this tablet of the the microcosm. So the microcosm and the macrocosm are kind of linked in together, and the spiritual forces are within it, without it, all sorts of stuff going on there. And the tablet of Navalgi, I painted it with the Goetia snake. And Goetia snake, one of the things about it is it has, uh, um, well, that represents everything. But, you know, you basically represent everything in that table. You have those four three by three continents, and then you have the four letter, the four or four letter edge ones. Um, All of the elements and basically everything is. So it's it's multiple ways to look at the same, <laughs> and I I never I didn't put I didn't put the sigillum di ameth into the same thing, but you could say that that is yet another system to look at it but um but generally i would say that there are, you could say there are five enochian systems you have the liber loa gaff you know the 49 by 49 by 49 in general table there's some difference with some of those but we don't need to need to go in specifics we have the enochian calls we have the great table of the of the elements you know the watchtowers as it's called we have the Angelorum Bonorum and the various tools. Um, well, well, actually, the Heptarchy, the Heptarchy. So which part of which of the four, I guess you could say the tools fit into the various categories there. So the Heptarchy would have the Holy Table. It would have the Sigillum Diamet. Um, and then you would have but some things aren't, you know, the names aren't in the other. Uh, and then you would have these outside formulas, like throughout the things you have, even some of the Goetia spirits mentioned in that. Um, and so the aces, so for the cooling, uh, for the, uh, the cooling quarter is I think when this is going to be released. So let's start with that. We have the hanged man. And... In the Crowley deck, of course, we have the Enochian tablet of water that's supposed to be represented there. But aren't there enough squares? It's not just 12 by 13. It's kind of like supposed to be even more than that. Um, but the water inside the greater table would be the idea. And of course, we can connect that most to here. You know, you got that cross mm -hmm. there. Um, and So, uh, you know, but it's it's life. Mm -hmm. It's life. It's it's not a life-denying sacrifice. It's a life-affirming sacrifice. Um, we move on to the tablet of earth, and there's there's where we can say it really gets interesting. Um, I'm... I, I told you one of the things that I came across is that we can say that the... Um, we, we can say that the order of nine angles would not exist if it wasn't for Crowley. Um, but they said that Crowley, they wanted to bring it further than Crowley. Now, I'm not sure if it's any more understandable than Crowley or any less easy to get past some of the Reference it. I think it's even harder to get past some of the references. Crowley used some terms and stuff like that, but it's. I think it's harder for most people to get past the whole order of nine angles thing. Um, but if you look at the order of nine angles sigil and you give it different points, it forms a shape. Um, you know, like if if you give it a ring. 
and you turn it into you got 12 pentagrams and you got some other stuff and i i can't uh maybe i should send it into uh, to the chat um because it's not my pay but if, if you you look at what's formed when we move on to the ace of discs because the aces are like the the place where things happen, the throne of the princesses and all that stuff. Um, and so we, we seem a similar shape. It's like there's a big old circle with all these points and you got yeah. one, I just three, five, six, seven, yeah. eight, and, and, and nine. So there's nine little points that, uh, there's nine points that come out from it. You know, you got the two, yeah, and then you got the seven base thing going out. Uh, it's it's an odd thing to look at. Um, and I can definitely see the connection. And it's so 452 degrees, and it's similar to the ace of disc that Crowley uses, and it takes it away from the personal. Um, in both, you could say, but it, you know, he gives himself a cosmic role. But you got the seven. The Order of Mind Angles has a star of seven. And uh, the five is not so easy to see, but the um, you have a similar sort of breakdown of shapes inside of shapes when you look at the... Yeah. You know what I'm talking... It's, 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 like, it's like one of those things with those little... Uh, back in the day... And and uh, I I saw some of the remnants of some of the stuff because like I don't know they came out in the seventies and uh, or or whenever they came out uh, those things you stick your p spent uh -huh. pencil in and they help you draw because they draw, s spiral around yeah. the it's that sort of thing so it's a multi layered yeah, thing fun. going on with that and yeah it's 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 yeah. rather subtle but you yeah, can really you can move the shapes around and they're both they're both intended to be three dimensional. And so one can kind of tell what my what my favorite cards kind of are for this deck. Um, well, okay, we got the princess and the prince. We got the we uh, uh, you know the princess of cups, the the prince of swords. We got the two different versions of the temperance card. And we got um, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, at least I thought that this was the best way to represent the deck is the ones that I chose. And they do agree mm -hmm. with me on two of them. Two of the cards mm -hmm. that they chose for their box were going to be what they were going to try to get you to buy the, uh, the, the deck with. Right. And see... Uh, it's it's a weird deck because it's it's uh, honest uh, uh, you know I'm not sure which order I'm going to have these uh, uh, but it, it's kind of a warning to those who haven't seen the rest of it that you have uh, you know this is not as graphic for some reason this deck is all weird with every other woman has to be like uh, 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 y y y not not just topless. <laughs> wandering around whatever like 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 some stereotype of an of a nomad which tends not to be true they tend to be less about it than we are uh some of that stuff going on the gala and stuff like this do, do not do not okay. click on the link to find out what happened the other weekend at that uh at that event with the little gnaws and all that other stuff um i, I do not recommend that <laughs> um right uh, yeah but <laughs> <laughs> so you see, it, the, it, so it starts with beliefs and all this, and there's an alchemical thing. The Order of Nine Angles symbol kind of gets it down more. I guess you can make it more centered with that. Um, but so you have the alchemical stages. You have the seven, uh, the septenary or the planetary or the worldly system, but it connects to community as one point and transcendence as the other. But that double, that double circle thing, the double circle thing indicates and that double circle things on the uh, on the uh, on the ace of disc in the Crowley deck too um it's an indicator of the of the lunar principle so it's reflective so you got the lunar and the solar principle there when the order nine angles thing it becomes a stellar thing it becomes a planetary thing so it's more it's 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 
not exactly, but it's broader. Um, but you rise from the star of five to the star of seven. So you you flip it and focus, you know, because when you draw the pentagrams, the, when you start, when you start, or uh, uh, the, the line you start with, when you go up and down your legs as a starting line, when you draw the pentagrams, that's considered of spirit. So you flip that up and that's what comes down. Spirit mm -hmm. descends or comes in sort of an invoking sort of thing going on. Um, and, yeah. you know, to make sure we get got the other ones, we got the, the full. Beginning and he is the end. Jonathan Barlow Gee He's released another version of the full. So you know how the foal's usually on the cliff? This guy's like on the cliff. It's like the guy went down the hill. It's like the guy went down the hill and he's trying to stop. You know, he's he's like the force. Uh, so 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 you gotta go forward, but you're like trying to hold it back per se. Um but you're not totally the system. You're an actor in the system, but not one of those automated yeah. things like. Remember the old video games? You had the character. You got to you get. You had to find out the one which characters were. I mean, they were all technically computer characters, but you know what I mean. You had to find out the characters that were just there for you to click on and get some information or grab something from. They weren't really meant to interact with you and fight back, in, in the in like some of the other characters were. I remember there was this mm -hmm. game named Blakestone, and there was this thing online you could make your own levels. So they. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I liked it. I personally liked it better than Doom or Wolfenstein because they just threw in vulgar stuff to be vulgar. It wasn't, you know, that there wasn't any point to it okay. other than uh, other than immature. Um, you know, I'm 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 nine years old sort of behavior, right? All right. Not that it's necessary that nine year olds are going to act like that, but you know what I mean. In in, in this society, what they put on the TV right. and stuff like this, it's it's it, you're. It, you know, when you're nine years old or eight or whatever. Um, when you're swearing on the playground and saying a bunch of things and you don't know what DJ Quick and the rest of them mean because they're talking to this jargon and all this stuff. And um, Or you do know, but you're kids and it's like, it doesn't have the effect when you don't have those desires or don't know how uh, quite how, it, how it's going to play down in life other than, you know, you're told, when you're eight years old, you're going to be responsible. You're told in church, when you're eight years old, you're going to be responsible for everything. Um, and <laughs> on to the last card, we're, we're less than a minute, and then I'm going to shut this. Uh, the um, the Aeon card. So for the brighter half of the year, which as we record this, starting Friday, we're going to get into, we have the change of the age. We have the judgment shifting from the, uh, from the different... Uh, the different rulers, the different things in the environment, the different things um, implied, but there's different characters, and they all have to act their different way. You got the you got the boy, you got the woman. Um, isn't the man kind of overshadowed there, but not quite as noticeable? Yeah, you, you got your multiple characters.